What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. I just wanted to show you guys the settings that you'll need for the B550 AM motherboard by ASRock uh, through CyberPower PC. It's a, kind of a one-off motherboard, specialty motherboard for CyberPower PC, uh, meaning that me, meaning you won't find the drivers, firmware, BIOS, or any of the updates on the ASRock website, unfortunately. All of the updates are maintained by Cyber, CyberPower PC. There is a page on CyberPower PC's website that allows you to download the firmware and BIOS and a few driver utilities um, for the system, but there is no ASRock Polychrome Sync um, software or settings or any information as to what version you need or what um, version you need to flash your system to. So I finally got mine working and I thought I, was, I would share those settings with you. So if we go into the settings here, the version of ASRock Polychrome Sync you need is version 1.0.63. Now, um, if you're on version on firmware 2.10, it will work. Just check in your BIOS, make sure that you're on 2.10. Um, and then the software you need is 1.0.63. Once you download and install it, if it is not working, you'll need to flash your um, chip, which is what I had to do. When I, whenever I would open Polychrome, it would stay on the loading screen. And normally it does take like a minute for it to start, but it just would not load at all. It would end up um, turning into not responding and it would just either close on its own or I'd have to force quit. And I could not change my settings at all. Um, I searched for ages and ages and I could not find any information um, on what version we need because the ASRock website doesn't have any information on this motherboard. So after lots and lots of research, I figured out that this is the version we need, um, the 1.0.63, and I do need to flash um, the chip to the NU51 underscore 2.10 firmware. If you have hide extensions on on your computer, you might not see the 0.10, but it is necessary to write the 0.10 in the script that we're going to um, run. So what you want to do to flash your firmware, and oh, I hope this doesn't actually stop mine from working because I just got it working, but we're going to do this for science and type in CMD, right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Now you're going to, uh, let me go ahead and copy the address. So you're going to type in CD and then we're going to copy the address to our um, bin folder after installing the ASRock RGB LED utility. So I have a two in mind just because I installed so many of them I had to actually install a, make a second folder um, for testing but yours probably won't have the two. <coughs> Either way type in CD which is change directory and then the paste in the full address to your bin folder. Now that we're in the bin folder and you'll see that as it starts with the full address now you're going to type in this code. So I'm going to copy this. Actually, let's go ahead and do it this way so that you can copy along with me. So we're going to copy this whole thing here and paste it. WICP flash ADSB.exe. Excuse me, I just had some energy drink and making me burp. Uh, forward slash file equals and then we're going to type in or paste this full address full file name so here we go we have the flash um, executable and we have the file that we're going to be flashing um, again you need to be let me read my motherboard to make sure you b550 am gaming and it's from cyber power pc uh any yeah i'll put my full model number in the description below but type this in and press enter and it will erase the um the chips programming first then it will program it again and then it will verify that everything is set up properly and then you should see a success um, prompt below 
Um, if you're using the wrong um, firmware file, it will say failed in big red letters here. But as you can see, it looks like the flash was successful and it gave us a checksum. MC was not locked, that's fine um, because we want to be able to flash it. So let's close this. And if we go into our um, polychrome sync, let's go ahead and close it and open it up again. SPC, C drive, program files, ASRock, bin, and then we're going to open the polychrome RGB utility. And it is here. And it works. We can apply new settings to our um, setup. And we can even use Chroma Connect, which I much prefer. Um, with Razer Synapse. That way, for example, now when whenever my computer's on, my mouse, keyboard, and um, actual RGB board are all synced together. Hopefully this helped you out because I had a lot of headaches trying to find the right versions and I was worried I would have to actually go in to um, have it, I don't know, reflashed or update the firmware or something. But I was able to figure it out, and hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as well. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace.